my first VR was mixed reality, and then recently, this past month, I upgraded to HTC. Oh, that hey. I'm using every sense. I was fortunate enough to Stick him up. <laughs> yeah, the world's tiniest knife. Stick him up. My God. Stick him up. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. I'm trying to call him. It's big now. Stick him up. Hold me, okay? Give me a second. No. Give me, give me a second. Try to come out to my boy Todd. Okay, okay, okay. Fucking main character, okay? I gotta play my part. Okay? I'm sorry, okay? Let me do my thing. I just had to get unexcited. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It takes a second. It takes a second. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Give me all your money. Tiny knife. Give me all your money. Unreal Tournament minigun. Uh, I'll make my knife a little bigger. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. There we go. It's a little bigger. It's a little bigger. Let's go. Who wants to go? Tiny knife. Come on, fam. Okay. Okay, it's a little bigger. It's a little bigger. Let's go. <laughs> okay, it's a little bigger. Let's go. Come on. Okay, full ah, full size now. Let's go. <laughs> this is good. This fucking tiny knife. Yeah, but I have the power of the tiny knife. Tiny knife versus tiny sword. Uh, See, I have yeah, yeah, which you know, one's you know more tiny? Yeah. You know what I have? Which one's more tiny? I have a passport. Yeah. Oh, it's yours. Yeah. So I, so I win. That was. I, I'm gonna die, but I, but I win I know, this battle of tiny great. weapons. <laughs> 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 Priorities, <laughs> right? <laughs> Priorities. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yeah. It is just a badass gun. Yeah. You, can't... you know what's a badass gun? Shield. This is the most badass this gun is? that's ever been made. Right here. This, this <laughs> right here. Showing up. Yeah. Why is it not fucking showing up? It, your finger. I am the yeah. Awesome. <laughs> your finger? Your yeah. Finger? Okay, uh, what about what about a good no. old bubble barrel? No, no, no. No, the, this beats that hands down. Hands Bonk. down. Bonk. I'm what sorry, the, this got them? an entire train station full of people to go into game mode, okay? <laughs> an entire train uh, station. What type of caliber? Finger caliber. Motherfucker, this transcends your idea of caliber. Doesn't matter what caliber this is, this is a one shot, one kill. It's like the golden gun from fucking I Goldeneye. I am the Doom Slayer. Right. I... I'm and no, this would render you useless. That is a finger. Yeah. I'm sorry to I'm, tell I'm, you, buddy, but are you are you like having hallucinations? No. No, that's a gun. Uh, no, all, all I gotta do is point it and shoot, <laughs> and you're dead. Oh my God, your wrist. The most yeah. powerful oh. weapon oh, known to man. You're fucking. That's a finger. Yeah. It, it's a finger. Yeah. So explain how. The power of imagination. Imagination can suck my balls. See, he just can't imagine very well. Wow. Tap into your you inner child. But, look, see, Come on, Doom like, guy. Used to be a kid once. In me was drained years ago. Thousands upon thousands. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Rabbit from my <laughs> life. I was just gonna say, you used to be a kid too, before you signed up for the Marine Corps, and before the demons took away your pet rabbit, Daisy. My pet rabbit! Because her name is fucking man. Daisy, that's right. Listen, Daisy would it's want you to be name. happy. Daisy would want you to remember how it feels to be a kid again. I am not happy. Even if it's just for a single down, moment. Until I rule all. But how can one defeat the gods if they can't fully understand them? What is there to understand? The only thing I understand is... See, see, I, I, I've got him in a conflicted and confused now. I've won. I've already won. That's all I had to do. All I had to do was sow the seed of doubt. 
<laughs> now I'll just act like a regular villain from a game or story and just kind of fade into shadows and leave him wondering, what the fuck was that all about the entire game? And then maybe pop up at the end before the end boss and just be like, aha, remember what we talked about that one time? <laughs> But it turns out this is just like a super powerful weapon. <laughs> Characters in a video game. Who is the evil villain? He could be anywhere. The villain. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. So do I. So do I. Always prepare a grocery list ahead of time before you go grocery shopping. Otherwise, you'll spend more than you mean to. Pro tips with Rick Astley. <laughs> Slayer. Have enemies? Fucking kill them. There you go. <laughs> Pro tip, don't do that. I'll get you in jail. Don't double park. It's an asshole thing to do. <laughs> Pro tips from Rick Astley. <laughs> hey! Wake the fuck up, Samurai. We've got a Snowden to burn. Wake the, the fuck, fuck up, mommy. <laughs> I kissed the bed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Passport. Now. No. Use passport here, man. I don't think so. Take. Thank you. I'll be taking that for myself. Take another. I said take another. I said take another. I said take don't another. Don't tell me what to do! What if you don't know their abilities, huh? And they don't tell you because they're not stupid. Well, you don't know. So, so what happens is when, when, when the battle starts with VR Telkara, right? And he pulls Kniffy out. Regardless of whether he actually strikes you or not, just being in the area, Kniffy, like, has energy that's going your direction. Right, kind of on the DL, right? And, and when, when energy connects to you, Kniffy starts reading your character. It starts learning about you, what abilities you have, what their limits are, how powerful they are, that kind of thing. So, so over time, so 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 if you notice, as uh, in episode two and in episode three against uh, Alt Kara, Metacara, and a couple other people, you'll notice that Virgil Kara sucks at first. Right? And, and he can't really do much of anything. Kniffy slowly over the course of the battle learns about the opponent, starts figuring out their weaknesses, and then starts attacking the weaknesses directly. Which is where actually hitting comes into play. Yeah. read the Doom Slayer, what, what, what would it just read out? What would it just read out if so, it read the Doom Slayer? So, so, so it, it would, for, for, first of all, it'd be like, Danger! <laughs> Danger! Danger. 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 You're not safe! <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the Slayer is probably one of the few opponents that um, that Kniffy would be afraid of, like, from the outset. But even that isn't going to last too long, because all Kniffy has to do is kind of learn how your character works. And then as soon as I'm able to hit you with a strike, I can do stuff like set your armor to zero. Stuff like set your guns to misfire every time you try to shoot them. That kind of thing, right? What about Berserk? Same thing, I, I can just shut your Berserk state off. <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, well, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it's super OP. It just takes more time. What about time. the original Doom right. guy? Because the original Doom guy could run at 57 miles an hour. Uh, you, you, your movement yeah, speed is set to zero. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't even have to hit dodge. your legs. You would just fucking dodge <laughs> it. That is 57 miles an hour. Nope. I think the record, well, like, no, record no, fucking you, you get you get maybe two or three dodges tops because then as soon as you come near me to attack me and you get within my range, the energy emanating from me is stronger and affects you faster. And it becomes a distance thing, right? Yeah. See, some characters nope. don't like knock that back at you. They don't build. Or, or, or I can instant set it to just do no damage. <laughs> like I said, the, the, there's a whole plethora of things that can happen. There's a whole plethora of things that can take place. Yeah. The, 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 way, the way that I wrote this character was to be a god RP character that could shut down other people's god RP situations, including other super overpowered characters like Doom Guy, like uh, Hyper Death Azrael, about, and a whole bunch of others. What about fucking so, Saitama? What about he, Saitama? He's basically Saitama from Undertale. That's kind of 
it, it's not Is quite that extreme that? because I'm making him grow up to get that strong. He's not just that strong by default. Like, if you watch through the episodes from, like, 1 to 2 and then onward, you notice that Virtual Car is, like, slowly getting stronger and then it's getting to upper tiers finally. Right? I'm trying to make so an arc weird. to it. So. So there's, is there any oh, being that could kill him? Like there, there are several beings that kill him. Killing Virtual Car is not the problem. It, it, it's it's making him stay dead that that that's the issue because you can just kill me and then i'm just like oh yeah i died oh that sucks and then as akara i just revive doesn't matter if you completely wipe me from existence doesn't matter if you disintegrate my being right it just i, I just come back <laughs> that's how i'm designed i, I yeah. travel back in time to murder your bloodline uh, I don't have a bloodline. <laughs> yeah, I, if I, I, now you do, bitch. Nope. So, I was created by Viertel Gaster. I'm a lab creature. Then I kill him. Yeah, good luck then with I that. Then I kill him. Good luck with that. <laughs> you're literally fight. you're literally, <laughs> you're literally fighting somebody who can create a universe, fam. Like th no, <laughs> That's, you want you want me to tell you a character that could have a very, a very like decent chance at defeating Vera Telkara. Yes, please. And, and and it's gonna fucking piss you off. <laughs> Hold on, let, let me let me get let me get my notebook. I'll write this shit it's down. Gonna, it, it's it's literally gonna make you so triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 Why? Because she can fuck with the game's files. She can fuck with VR yeah. Tales files Monica's from a fucking... from a remote like she like, like if you if you watched the last episode, VR Takara was in Gaster's like void space, attacking his fucking black hole thing or whatever that gives him his power and affecting him. Monica doesn't have to be there to do that. <laughs> she can just be like, Oh, oh, oh no. you're Gaster, huh? Give me a second. Oh, so, oh, so that's your thing. No, oh, so not. that's where your power comes from. And then her eyes just start lighting up. I don't think so. And then Gaster just starts going into a fucking frenzy. Right? Like, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, oh, that's where your power comes from? Yeah. Monica. Monica would be a very decent... I did, I'm not saying she would win, but she's got a very decent shot at pulling that off. What about, out of anybody what if, else? <laughs> what about the G-Man? What about him? Um, no. G-Man would probably be able to fuck with him for a while, though. You'd probably for be able to fuck with while. him. Yeah, yeah. You'd probably while. give him some good he's, entertainment, I'm sure. <laughs> he's a, rea a reality-bending fuck. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Universe reset. Yep. Well, goddamn. Yeah. God yeah. Damn, yeah. No, G Gaster has has um. Y you know. You know the. Uh, I don't. I don't know how familiar you are with uh, Undertale generally, right? Just like overall. I, I know a lot about. I know a lot about the lore. Okay, so you know how at the end of the uh, genocide run, Car shows up and then like destroys the universe, and it's just a black Destroy void of nothing. Universe. And then, like, subsequently later, you sell him your soul or whatever, and then he recreates it for you. That's Here, basically... That's basically this yeah. motherfucker. But stronger. Because yeah, not, only, not only does he this have that ability and power at his disposal, but he has the ability to exist outside of time. Which he has for nobody knows how long. Which he's used, as a matter of fact, to travel from future to past to present and he's gone to other alternate universes like underfell dust tail and all those other stuff and he's done extensive research on all the abilities on everybody and all the different AUs, and then spent years experimenting with them and then crafting them into more perfect code which is how he's created the uh, vr tail characters right so basically uh, Vier Tail Kara is like the penultimate version of Kara. Same thing with the Frisk, the ga himself as Gaster, the Sands, etc., etc. Um, Vier Tail Kara is a little extra special in that respect, uh, as he not only has used all the other Kara's for influence, like with the others, but he actually has put their abilities into this Kara. 
right? Uh, if you think of Perfect Cell, right? How he has to absorb Android 17 and 18 in order to become yeah. his ultimate. So this Kara has small strands of DNA from Underfell Kara, from Dust Kara, from Lust Kara, right? It has little tiny snippets of their DNA and abilities. And if I get, like in episode two, if I get if I get to them and I get to take their head and take their abilities, like for good, take them out of the picture, I unlock that ability for myself. I just haven't accessed that shit yet within the show. Gaster created the pinnacle of absolute practical destruction. Yep. And, and then, and then with Frisk, it was the opposite. Pot- yeah, and so, when yeah, he, 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 he not only did he make that, he made, he possibly created a being that could kill himself. And that's where, yep. right, where he, well, say he said save. Like maybe, maybe or maybe die, not. He, he, he's not sure if it's going to go that far. However, things currently in the show aren't looking too good for Gaster. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, he looked. <laughs> I was trying to sneak up! I'm just a 10 year old boy trying to catch Pokemon! Uh huh. Uh huh. Likely friggin' story. Sean, why wasn't I supposed to move? <laughs> so, you, so you were supposed to mask my, <laughs> my disappearance. Hey, <laughs> Murray, you wanna take a picture together? This motherfucker is. This motherfucker is time and space itself with that yacht name suit. Basically, yeah. Yo, who? So, so, uh, question. Are you familiar with Marvel Comics? Uh, not, not the comics as much as the MCU. Okay. I mean, that's, that's kind of understandable. Uh, there's this, uh, god-tier character in Marvel Comics called Eternity. Uh, if you ever see pictures of him, they basically, it's like, it's like half of a face, and then their entire body is just galaxy right and what they're supposed to be is the physical embodiment of everything that's in the universe that was basically the inspiration for that was that was the inspiration for me to make this guy he's he his whole body is like the entirety of vr tail basically yeah the whole vr tail universe is like all of his being I mean, I mean, you would, you would think so, wouldn't you? Over there. You would think yeah, so. Yeah, it's logical. Yeah. It's logical. Is it though? Hmm. Maybe something yes. different happens. Who yes. knows? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Coffee. You, you know how Chunny likes to play with expectations.